and with support of Russia, Syria, the Syrian authorities have been able to bring back under their control over 90 percent of the Syrian territory. What needs to be set up now is humanitarian assistance to people irrespective of any kind of political context. However, our partners in the West, in the West in general, both the United States and uh, the Europeans, have been saying that they're not going to give any help to Assad. What does Assad have to do with it? Help people who need that assistance, just the most basic things. They won't even lift restrictions on supplies of medications and medical equipment, even in the context of the coronavirus infection. But that is just inhumane. And this kind of cruel attitude to people cannot be explained in any way. As far as the border crossings for delivery of humanitarian assistance, there is the Idlib area where combatants are still robbing people, killing people, raping people. There is the al Tanf zone, which, by the way, is controlled by the U.S. military. Recently, we caught there a group of gangsters who had come from there and they directly said that they had specific goals as far as Russian military facilities. As far as border crossings, our position is such that assistance needs to be given just as it should be done in the entire world and as it is provided for in the rules of international humanitarian law through the central government. That is how assistance should be given and it should not be discriminated against. And if there are grounds to believe that the central government of Syria will plunder something, will steal something, well, set up observers on the part of the International Red Cross and Red Crescent 